I've only got to see a Marx Brothers film on the telly and I'm transported back to the 1970s watching it with my mum and hearing her laugh out loud and tell me about the film. And if I hear the neighbour's theme song, it's the late 1980s and my two-year-old son James is sat on the settee with his little bear singing along to the song. Bubba Streisand singing Evergreen and I'm in love for the first time. I bought the Star Is Born album for my girlfriend. She dumped me a week later. My memories are invariably linked to music, movies and telly of the time. And that's what I'm going to be talking about on this video. I've got to be honest, I've only got to hear the first few notes from a song title and then I'm transported back to another time and place. In fact, I think that if it wasn't for TV, movies and music, most of my life would have gone by and I wouldn't have a memory to remember. I love the film Grease. Every time I see it, I'm transported back to the autumn of 1978 and a group of maybe 15 or so of my friends going to see it at the pictures in Enfield. When I hear the song Summer Nights from that film, it's the same night, but it's later on, and we're now outside the pub singing our hearts out to it. A movie has that ability. That film left us all on a high, and those memories that I have from that evening have stayed with me. I was 18 then, I'm 63 now, and in my mind's eye, I can see all those friends and they still look the same to me as they did then. The reason these things can evoke memories is because they have the ability to activate the brain's award system. It releases neurotransmitters like dopamine that are associated with pleasure and positive emotions. And so it follows that moments of our lives that seemed inconsequential at the time subconsciously are linked to what else is going on around us. And so when I hear a song, see a film or something on the telly, it has that ability to be linked to something back in my past. It brings back what's known as autobiographical memory. Now sad memories can also be brought to the fore as well. An example I've talked about before being my Uncle Henry. He died suddenly, and as I drove down to Pevensey Bay from Bedford that day to see her family, I had the radio on in the car as it usually was. Now only one song from that three hour journey sticks in my mind to this day. I hadn't really been listening to the radio as my mind was on what had happened, and I was on autopilot. And yet even so, Kylie Minogue's song, Wouldn't Change a Thing, always takes me back to that day. I can vividly remember it coming on and thinking that I wouldn't change a thing about my Uncle Henry. He was the perfect uncle for me. Now years later, I was to name my second son after him. Not only does hearing that song take me back to that journey, it chokes me up and almost brings me to tears every time I hear it. At Christmas, I always watch those films that I did as a child, because when I see them, I'm whisked back to what seems a magical time, when it was more carefree for us, when I'd be sat on the floor with a glass of cherry aid and a bowl of sweets. I love to be taken back. I've recently been re-watching Miami Vice, and it reminds me of buying those jackets and those espadrilles like Don Johnson wore in the show. When I see the programme, I'm reminded of going back to Florida in the January of 1989, wearing those clothes and thinking how cool I was. I wasn't, but the good memories still linger. And as I watched the episode the other day, I felt myself smiling as my mind drifted back to Kissimmee and eating at the Red Lobster restaurant, and then heading to Rosie O'Grady's in Orlando. I don't know about you, but I'd be willing to guess that you go through the same things I do as we watch programs and movies from our past and listen to music. Do you remember that bit in Alien where it comes up through John Hurt's stomach? I laugh to myself when that happens because we saw it in the pictures and my girlfriend of the time, she jumped up in the air, moved out of her seat and landed on my lap. And that's the only thing I can remember. If I hear songs like Wings Silly Love Songs, Candy Staten's Young Hearts Run Free, and the real things, you to me are everything. 
It's the long hot summer of 1976. And as my parents had an amusement arcade on a holiday camp, I can remember all the holiday makers getting burnt and turning pinker and pinker as the days went by. What about you? What songs bring back memories for you? Which films and TV series take you back to a different time? Leave your comments down below and share your stories. The funny thing is, it's different for all of us. There will be songs, films and shows that will move me because of the memories that are attached to them and yet the same ones could leave you cold. I remember as a schoolboy going to see Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in the Ritz Cinema at Burnham-on-Sea as part of my class because one of the parents was so pleased that his son had passed his exams that they paid for all of us to go and see a private viewing of the film. Now when I see that film today, I can still see all of my class in an empty cinema watching it. I know that for me it so often happens that I'm transported back in time. And those moments, whether happy or sad, still comfort me. It's at those times when I put on my rose-coloured glasses and when I feel as though they were simpler, less complicated times. The worry though is that we look back so often that we forget to live in the moment. But I know that there are still good times to come, new memories to be made, and I look forward to them. The newest one that sticks in my mind was from a few days ago when, as we were getting up the other morning, Michael Bublé came on the radio singing All I Do Is Dream Of You, and me and Debs broke into an impromptu dance around our bedroom. Just 30 seconds or so, and that will stay with me for years to come. A lot of people think that nostalgia is a bad thing, a longing for the past. I don't know. Nostalgia reminds me that I've lived a good life. It reminds me of times good and bad, and moments of joy and pain, of triumphs and defeats, of love and of loss. The fact is that music, movies and TV shows have the power to take you back in time and reacquaint you with your memories. Because truth be told, 99% of my memories are brought back because of them. They're like a trigger. Watching a program, a film, or hearing a song can bring me to an unexpected memory. And I'm so grateful that they can. Are you the same as me? Do you find them a rewarding experience? Or do you find it different? Let me know down below. And if you click up there, I'm going to look more in depth about music and memories.